Of all animals, the most highly developed is a group called the mammals. Animals like the hippopotamus, the bear, and the chipmunk. In order to understand the mammals, let's look first at some of the simpler animals. These protozoa, so small they can be seen only with a microscope, are the simplest form of animal life. They are made up of only one cell. These sea anemones are made up of many cells. Although they can be seen with the unaided eye, they are also a very simple form of animal life. These are crayfish. They are members of a group of animals with jointed legs animals like insects, spiders, crabs, and lobsters. The crayfish are like the protozoa and sea anemones in one respect. They do not have backbones. This fish has a backbone. Although more highly developed than the animals without backbones, it is one of the simplest of backboned animals. Fish breathe with gills, and they are cold-blooded. That is, the temperature of their bodies changes with the temperature around them. This lizard belongs to a group of animals called reptiles, a group that includes turtles and snakes. Like fish, reptiles have backbones and are cold-blooded, but they differ from fish in that they breathe with lungs. Birds, like this pelican, have backbones. Like the reptiles, they breathe with lungs. But birds are warm-blooded. Regardless of the temperature around them, their body temperature stays the same. Here's another animal with a backbone. He's a giraffe, a member of a group of animals called mammals. Mammals may differ as much as this giraffe differs from these polar bears. But all mammals are alike in many ways. All mammals, of course, have backbones. Run your hand down the middle of your back. That bone you feel is a backbone. As this boy takes a deep breath, he can feel his lungs fill up with air. All mammals have lungs and breathe air. All mammals are warm-blooded. Although this beaver is swimming in icy water, the temperature inside his body is the same as it would be on a summer day. Two things make mammals different from all other animals. First, mammals have hair on their bodies. In fact, if an animal has hair, you can be certain it's a mammal. This cat and her kittens are mammals. Second, all mammals, like this sheep, feed their young milk, a food which is made by glands within the mother's body. This cow is feeding or nursing her calf. All mammals nurse their young. This baby monkey is hungry. He's looking for his mother. She will give him some milk. Only mammals, of all the different kinds of animals in the world, are able to give milk to their young. And only mammals, of all the different kinds of animals in the world, have hair on their bodies. These two things make mammals different from all other animals. Here's an animal called a sea lion. Sea lions nurse their young. Sea lions have hair on their bodies. They are warm-blooded. They breathe air with lungs, and they have backbones. Although they spend most of their lives in water, and although they swim like fish, sea lions aren't fish. They are mammals. There are many different kinds of mammals, and they may be divided into several large groups. One group, the hoofed mammals, like these buffalo or American bison, are plant eaters, 
The hoofed mammals, like these European fallow deer, have large, flat teeth with which to grind their plant food, and they chew it thoroughly before swallowing it. Many of the hoofed mammals, like this mule deer, have long, thin legs. Long legs and hard hooves are well fitted for running on hard ground in open places. As you would expect, many hoofed mammals will be found in open places, where, like these American or pronghorned antelope, they use their speed to escape their enemies. Man has domesticated or tamed many of the hoofed mammals, like these sheep, in order to raise them for his own use. This sheep is a domesticated hoofed mammal. The hoofed mammals provide us with many of the things we eat and wear. Another group of mammals, called the carnivores or meat eaters, is made up of mammals that eat meat. This puma, or mountain lion, a member of the cat family, has long, sharp teeth with which he tears his food. Since he has no flat teeth, he cannot chew his food before swallowing it. All carnivores use their teeth to catch and kill their prey. Many carnivores also have sharp claws. A house cat is a carnivore or meat eater too. Since a carnivore eats other animals, he must be quiet and quick if he is to catch them. A carnivore has pads on his feet to help him move quietly. Other members of the cat family are the tiger. Notice his teeth. And the lion. These teeth belong to a coyote. The coyote is a member of the dog family, another group of carnivores. Like all carnivores, the coyote has sharp pointed teeth with which he tears his food. The coyote, like the dog you have at home, is a meat eater. Perhaps you've wondered why your dog doesn't chew his food. Well, because his teeth are pointed, he couldn't, even if he wanted to. This is a familiar mammal. He's a rat, of course, one of the gnawing mammals, or rodents, the largest of all the mammal groups. Many of the mammals most familiar to you are rodents. By looking closely at a rodent, like this squirrel, you can usually tell something about his way of life. Notice his long, bushy, balancing tail and his short, hand-like front paws, well fitted for climbing. Perhaps you've noticed a fresh mound of earth right in the middle of your lawn. Here's the fellow who's probably responsible. He's a gopher, and he too is a rodent. His long, chisel-like front teeth are just right for cutting up plant roots and stalks. With his large, flat back teeth, he grinds his food before swallowing it. He lives in tunnels, which he digs underneath the ground. Notice how he pushes the dirt with his front paws. When he's finished his tunnel, he plugs up the entrance with dirt. Perhaps the most interesting of all mammals is the group called the primates, a group that includes man. The primates, like this chimpanzee, are the most intelligent of the mammals. Like man, they have flat nails instead of claws and hands, which they use for grasping. Their teeth are like ours fitted for both tearing and chewing.
Though most primates prefer a diet of nuts and fruit, they are able to eat both plant and animal food. This gibbon is a primate also. Like all mammals, gibbons have backbones, lungs, warm blood, body hair, and are able to nurse their young. Basically alike, yet different in many respects, mammals are interesting animals.